YouTube, what the hell is going on? You will have noticed behind me we have a complete change of scenery. Staly got himself some new nano leaves, no longer the whiteboard behind me. RIP to the whiteboard. We've transformed, we're going forward. We've got nano leaves behind me, they are awesome. They do wicked things. And I'm hoping my editor right now is gonna change my voice to sound like a demon and give me some like devil horns because this is your devil speaking. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and that you will subscribe and hit the like button. Also share and comment positive or constructive things depending on what you see today. Do as you're told. These lights are absolutely awesome, man. I can even get it so they move to the sound of my uh, voice, as you can clearly see from here. But just to make it so I'm not going to distract you guys too much, I'm going to keep it in a nice, chill, moving atmosphere like this. So in today's video, guys, this is going to be one of the final and one of the final uh, YouTube videos that I do for Modern Warfare, I think, because obviously we've got the beta coming up this weekend, beta next weekend. A lot of my stuff is going to be Cold War based now. We'll obviously have a little bit at the end of October, but then during you know the start of November and moving through to the middle of November, we're going to be really fading out that Modern Warfare content and pushing in the Cold War, which does release on the 13th of November 2020 and I'm going to be playing the beta this weekend for PS4 and the next weekend on PC where it's going to be accessible to everybody but before we get into all that before we talk about all that today's video is a cool one I have gathered together all my best assault rifle clips from Modern Warfare over the last year or so to show you guys in a special montage on which gun it's kind of like a head-to-head -head and a montage together which I want you guys to decide which gun that you think does it better outside of all of these assault rifles now for the purpose of this video we have not used the format aka the FR. We've not used the AN94 and we've not used the M13. These are three guns that I particularly didn't like too much so I haven't gathered enough clips for them but apart from that all the rest of the ARs are used in this video. I've got five clips of each including the new ASVL with the turnaround mags as well so it's going to be put into like a head-to-head -head format where you guys can decide which one that you do and think is best. As again as I said in my demonic voice before if you do enjoy today's video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button support the channel it really means a lot. We've got a lot coming with Cold War and I'm so excited to show you guys. Let's roll into today's video. So moving into the creator class section, we're going to be pairing up each build alongside the gun that we've been using in the game. Some of the attachments might be a little bit different, but what I'm going to be showing you right now is the current build that I use for every single gun, and then I'm going to show you five clips of that gun, and we're going to keep moving on moving forward where you guys can then pick which one you think does it best, all right? So beginning with the Kilo, we've got the monolithic suppressor on the Kilo, running it alongside with a barrel with a Syngard Arms 16.6 SOCOM. It's a nice middle barrel, one that gives you good range, velocity, and recoil control without reducing your ADS too much. Uh, for the laser, we're running Tet Laser, which is a pretty much a standard for me right now for ADS, aim and stability and aim walking steadiness. We're then moving on with the 50 round mags because I don't want to lose too much speed or ADS and if you go with the 60 or the 100 you could lose a little bit more of that. I like to stay a bit more aggressive with this gun. So 50 round mags work great for this and then finally topping it off with stipple grip tape as the rear grip. Another thing that you'll see standard in all of these builds is that for perks I'm running right now in the meta for me is quick fix, tune up and point man. I've changed away from shrapnel because I no longer use C4s because IRIP C4s. We're now running Semtex instead, just running the one and running tune up back for the, um, the charges and we're running stim as a secondary tactical at all times as well right now there's a reason that is the meta one you know i know they tried something new with a level system but it did not work man we needed prestigious in this game so bad oh my fucking god what have i just done we're using no sister them tags are mine he's gonna be he gonna be so pissed oh my god stay make the play ah oh, no okay he's right there no mind big sparkly wand and shoot dragons and shit would you do that Twitch chat, what are we saying? Cat Price cosplay? But I love your accent, so. Love the Welsh accent. But why do Americans think all we do is eat tea and scones? Firstly, tea tastes like shit. Secondly, I've had like three scones in my whole life that we're cracking up right now, though. Any reason why my gun keeps changing? Oh, Stally baby, let's go! Stallion, you're a freak, Stallion. Oh, my God, what, what have I just done? We, next up, we have the foul. Um, inside the foul, we're going to be using for the barrel. We use the XRK Marksman, which gives you the damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. For a little bit of loss of ADS and movement speed, but this is a great barrel and does pretty much everything you need it to do. For the laser, we're running tat laser for ADS, aim stability, and aim walking steadiness. Uh, for the optic on this gun, I hate the iron sights on the foul, especially when it's bobbing all over the place all the time. So the GI Mini Reflex gives you the sight that you need to keep the gun steady and help you out. And also, the laser from the tat laser also helps you predict where your next shot's going to be. So it makes it for a really good pairing like that. For rear grip, running stipple grip tape wants to give, to give you the ADS and sprint to fire speed that you need to make the gun reactive and strong. And finally, you pretty much have to use the 30 round mags here because 20 is not going to be enough and 24 doesn't do it either. So 30 round mags definitely helps on that one. It just doesn't stop. I don't get it.
Ork. Whether it's exclamation mark, foul, AK, you can catch them via commands in the chat, homies. Peter Burris Hell, why is that? What, busy or? Holy fuck, Stally. You just got rinsed. Oh my god, dude. Doing good, Matt Luke. Thank you. Hope you are as well. Oh my god. Oh sh Oh thank fuck. The good thing about that laser as well is it gives you aim and stability, which most guns need. That extra aim and stability is always gonna be helpful, chat. On Stally lad. Next up, we move up to the Odin, and in the Odin, we're using the Odin Factory 420mm barrel. Now, I have tested bigger barrels, however, what they do is they reduce the ADS and movement speed too much. I've tried both of these for slightly larger maps, but the way that I play and how aggressive I am, I'm finding that the 420mm barrel works best for me, and I'm pairing that up with Tat Laser for the, uh, once again, ADS aim walking stability and aim walking steadiness. We've got the rear grip as a stippled grip tape, once again, for the ADS and sprint to fire speed, and we're using 30 round mags as similar to the foul have to use the 30 round mags here because 20 and 25 is just not enough and then finally we have the commando four grip barrel which helps to keep the gun stabilized and keep the recoil low as well i mean i'll give cheshire park a try eventually because i want to be running uh shootouts and shipment it's fucking shreds man i'm telling you twist chat one of the best guns in the game right now if you can just get it under control a little montage going So Odin with stopping power is nuts from chest and upwards. Literally a one-shot kill. Literally a one-shot kill right now. No, they're not my animals, they're my friends, bro. Holy fuck, let's go. Next up, we're moving up to the Scar, and within the Scar, we have this beautiful Psychosis blueprint, which keeps it a nice white color, and also gives ice bullets once it shoots, so when you shoot, like, take off someone's head, it literally takes off their head. It's absolutely awesome. For the muzzle, we're running Monolithic Suppressor for the sound suppression damage range. In terms of a barrel, you don't really need one for this gun, because it has the range that it needs for the way that it's built. For the laser, once again, we're running the TAT laser, giving you the ADS aim and stability and aim and walking steadiness that you need. Rear grip, we're running Stipple Grip Tape, a standard for ADS to sprint to fire. Ammunition, we're using 30 round mags, the same issues as the foul and the Odin. This gun needs 30 round mags to stay as relevant as possible and finally we're using the merc full grip to help with hip fire and to also you know give us some give us some assistance in these close range engagements holy fuck welcome well, if i can follow Oh, oh my god. More is more is more! Oh my shitting god, bro. It ain't over yet. It still took you a week, mate. Just do them on hardcore. They're well easy to do. Drops are still on till Tuesday, yeah. They extended them, bro, because they haven't been working all week. Mate, he's right there, but I'm reloading, dude. We go for clips on it most of the day, I think. I mean, just seriously. 
After the Scar, we are moving over to the M4. And within the M4, this build is a little bit different to how most of the other guns that I've built. For the uh, barrel, we're running the Corvus Custom Marksman, which gives you the nice damage range, velocity, and recoil control that you need. A lot of people also argue about the stock with the M16 Grenadier. That gives you a bit more range. If you're all a search player or you play bigger maps, you'll probably prefer the M16 Grenadier. But if not, the Corvus Custom Marksman works fine. Pair that up with the no stock. No stock on this gives you the movement speed and ADS that you need. And Commander Foregrip also then gives you your recoil stabilization and aim stability that you lose away from the no stock. We're using 50 round mags once again to keep mobile as well as also giving myself more mags to use. And then finally pair that off a stipple grip tape to give you the extra ADS and sprint the fire speed that you need as well. What a fucking load of madness! Oh my holy shit. In before they're like Cheshire Park, calling it now. But it's M4 right now, though. Like, I shit you not. LJ, what's up? How you doing, lovely? How's it going, man? I just didn't know because I know we used to run it together, so I didn't know if I used to play with him and you at the same time, you know? Oh, Stally on them shots right now, lad. Buy him that. I'm a fucking idiot. I deserve to die there. Oh, let's go, baby. Got maybe a little bit. Mainly multi, though, bro, by the way. I'm fucking dedicated, man. Oh, it's M4. Moving on, we got to the AK, and with the AK-47, uh, it's built similar to the 74U, and the only difference is that it's got a slightly larger barrel. So the Snetsnaz Elite Barrel does really well here for the damage range and bullet velocity, losing a little bit of ADS, but it makes it worth it. For the laser, we're running TAT Laser for ADS, aim stability, and aim walking steadiness. For the stock, we're running the Skeleton Stock on this. You can run no stock if you like, but I prefer Skeleton Stock as it gives you the aim walking movement speed and the ADS speed that you need, and I find that uh, with no stock, it makes the guns recoil too crazy, okay? Ammunition, we're running the 5 Point four five times 39 millimeter 30 round mags even though they're only 30 round mags they give you the fire rate and recoil control that you need and they also make this gun an absolute slaying machine which we'll see in the clips as well and finally for the under barrel we're in the merc foregrip for recoil control and hip fire actually for close range engagements perfect fucking reaction oh shit he's still alive oh stallion how have you survived that shit that's six we're streaming and getting for like six hours the drops being on, I'm going to be doing uh, later streams this week, 100%. I don't know what to tell you about the drops thing if you can't link your Twitch, bro. Oh my lord. One single headshot. What's going on? Right. Welcome back, you animal. Lucas is a great place for a night out and football team. Verticus, I appreciate it. Sub hype in the chat for my boy Verticus, please, switch chat. I'll take it. Let's go, Pog. Moving on to the Ram 7. And within the Ram 7, we use the Corruptor Barrel. And within the barrel, we're using the Forge Tack Eclipse for the damage range and bullet velocity. Laser we're running tat laser as we've run standard on most assault rifles for the ADS and aim stability, aim walking steadiness. Rear grip running stipple grip tape for ADS and sprint to fire speed. Ammunition, you want to have 50 round mags, that's the only viable option here. And then the under barrel for commander foregrip to give you the recoil stabilization and aim stability that you need. Bats, man. Got some that partnership. You deserve it, bro. You're a fucking absolute animal. 39 coming up, they said. Go, go, go. What, no mind? Let's go. Hey, guys, if you're not already following, exclamation mark socials in the chat. Please, 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 if you support me or the stream and you want to see how I do on phase five, get linked up on the socials. Oh my god, you just got psyched out so hard! Sure, yeah. Alright, wow. 
And again! Do you know what? I'll tell you what. If there's one thing I've learned about today, I am actually falling in love with this Ram class, chat. This thing is fucking nuts. Uh, moving on to the ground. Now, there are two builds shown in this video that I'm going to go with. And we're going to start with the mini growl, okay, the baby growl. And that is the ZLR Drifter 808 barrel, which gives you the ADS movement speed and recoil control that you need if you want to use this gun in SMG format. We've also paired that up with the TAT laser, which again gives you the aiming stability, ADS speed, and aiming um, walking steadiness that you need as well. No stock to give you max mobility in game for movement speed and ADS speed. Rear grip is the XRK Void for, again, ADS speed and sprint to fire. And then finally, the 50 round mags to also give you the extra magazine the capacity you need or you can run 60 if you want i've changed between both a little bit to go into my other build what you can do is go to the ffs uh, 28 nexus barrel with the prototype alpha and then if you want you can also run monolithic suppressor instead of something else if you want to give it that extra range as well or you can take a bigger barrel that's up to you but that's also one of the builds that i've decided to use on this one as well do you want to see my growler how long have you been grinding on that for that shit takes ages to get Right now he's talking about hiking, chat. Oh, oh, what have I just done there? Catfish you from Tinder, mate. Fake as fuck. Can't trust them, bro. Sit down. Whoop. Hello? Dude, my face. Hello? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Put him around me everywhere. Go, 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 go. Happened. Moving on from the mini growl, we have the AMAX or the Galilla, some people call it, and this is probably my favorite assault rifle in the game, apart from the next one that we're going to speak about as well. Uh, within the barrel, we've got the XRK Zodiac S440 for the damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control that you need. For the laser, we're running TAT laser with the ADS, aim stability, and aim walking steadiness. Start, we use the CR56 XO, which gives you the aim walking speed and ADS speed that you need as well. This is pretty much the skeleton start from the AK47. Ammunition, we're running 45 round mags, so that's the only real viable option. And then finally, we've got the Merc full grip for the underbarrel will give you the recall and hit fire actually that you need when in close range engagement. I put a tweet out the other day chat about um, the amount of viewers that we've had in here recently that they can spawn it all they want. I'll take them all fucking out. Let's go. Chat is the best part about streaming. <sighs> now we're getting warmed up baby. This Khalil. Oh where he's gone though. There he is. That's the guy I was looking for. Peace. I'm in the process of reloading! Get shit on! Guys. Oh, we smashed that 30k and above. Middle spawn. Oh, you just got juked out of your mind, sunshine. Good man, Wizzy. Can't wait to see them TikToks. Follow you on there, actually. I don't know if I've got you on there yet, Wiz. Push. Push. And for the final gun of the day, we've got the AS Val with the 10 round mags, which are still currently broken as of the latest patch. So within the barrel, we're using the VLK 200mm OSA, which gives you all the range and bullet velocity that you need. Laser running TAT laser to help you guard your shots for hit fire, uh, sorry, for aim stability, uh, ADS and aim walking steadiness. For the perk, I've actually switched away from uh, sleight of hand and gone with fully loaded as you get like 70 extra ammo when starting off using the gun. It's really good and highly would recommend using fully loaded for this. Ammunition, I'm running the SPP 10 round mags, which gives you ADS, it gives you extra damage, it gives you movement speed and it gives you bullet pen. It's got a built-in no stock and a built-in FMJ to these 10 round mags. Highly recommend to use them until they get nerfed. And then finally for the underbarrel, we're doing commando full grip to help keep the gun stabilized for the for the engagements that you'll be getting into and also give you the aim and stability as well. Just 
dropping fucking bodies with his gun, chat. Oh, just wall banged him, bro. I couldn't even see him. God. Oh my god, I wasn't even watching. Whoa. I was about to click the clip button. Holy crap. It would be a really good gun in. in, in. Wow, I literally two tapped him from that far away. It's mainly northerners that call it lecky, bro. I had the 7700K before my Ryzen 7 chat. I'm holding shit down right now, chat. They are not getting out of that corner, bro. This gun is disgusting. I want someone to get down here and pay my lecky, chat. Always get your studies sorted first, man. Oh, you guys supported me, chat. Back flank right now, boys. 